Let's just have a look at uh, the Asian market for you. How big is it? How much bigger can it get? And what's been going on with it? Well, on the buying side, for the first time ever at Christie's last year in 2020, uh, the Asian market was number one. We, we had more buyers in value coming from Asia than from any other continent. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a first. And that's the proof that the, the art market in Asia on the buying side is extremely lively, very strong. Many new collectors and clients coming on this market, especially millennials. So it has been a fascinating process to observe. And, uh, and it's now a, a, a key market for us. The question is, what are they buying? Because this has evolved, hasn't it? Yes, absolutely. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the Asian market was very much about Asian art, Chinese works of art, Chinese paintings. Now it's completely diversified. And, and uh, uh, the, the Asian buyers are buying more uh, modern contemporary art than they are tr buying traditional uh, Asian art. So it, it's, it's a major change on this market. And that's why now we are considering the art market in Asia with, with the central hub, Hong Kong, as really a, a market for itself. You know, it's no more an additional market that we were addressing from Europe and from the US. We are now building our season every year, taking into account what we could do and build in Asia. So, Guillaume, who's hot right now? Well, I mean, it's... Uh, it's uh, uh, you know, the, I mean, the contemporary modern art is, is really things, the things people are, are looking after, for sure. Uh, there has been a, a major, you know, change in, in the taste over the last 20 years. And now the, the categories around 20th century to 21st century, including design, contemporary art, photo, uh, represent more than 70% of the art market. And well, this is it, isn't it? I think this is a global phenomenon where, where design and the like are now actually almost becoming interchangeable with classic art pieces. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's a global phenomenon. And, and uh, as you said, I think the way people collect and buy has changed completely. Now, people collect across categories. You know, they are thinking more openly about what they want to buy. Uh, and we, we, are, we are ourselves in this position of rethinking the way we build ourselves and our offerings. Uh, to, to reflect this diversity of taste and the way that people buy differently.